Hello everyone. I have two things I wanted to share with you today. And one is this really neat coal frame design that another YouTuber shared on his site. I'll leave a link in the description. But I've been able to save some of my plants that normally would have been killed by the frost. We've had some temperatures that have dipped down into the low 20s and with these uh, particular plants, I'm in zone 8A, it would have killed them. So I have a combination of some determinate tomatoes as well as some indeterminate tomatoes and for the determinate, those tomatoes, once they produce their crop, then they would, um, the plant would die. So there's no saving that for next year or for this year. But with the indeterminate, they will continue to grow and to produce. Now, that's what you're looking at here with this cherry tomato. As you see, there are blossoms on this. My goal was not to necessarily grow anything um, over the winter, which it is still winter, but it was just to preserve the plants. Now with the uh, determinate, and I have the remnants of the determinate there, I went ahead and harvested the tomatoes that were not quite ready to get last year. And for my uh, peppers, I have a combination of some cubanelle and some bell peppers. The, um, I was able to harvest, this is the, uh, the cubanelle, I was able to harvest some of those peppers today. And again, it wasn't for these peppers to grow, it was to save the plant so that they wouldn't freeze during the harsh frost. This particular one, the uh, it's a smaller plant, it's a younger plant, and the cubanelles, peppers are still growing. So I'll probably pinch those off in a day or so, but I went ahead and got these. And just to give you, you know, comparison there, I do not have a small hand. <laughs> so this is probably six or seven inches long. And um, again, those are the tomatoes. I want to show you some other things that I was able to put in here and to preserve. Now, some of these things, you know, like they may be cold hardy, but it was my first time growing them and I did not want to take the chance. This is a Greek oregano and it's done really, really well in here. And let's see what else we have. I have a garden sage, which is this plant here. And I've already shown you the, uh, the different tomatoes that I have. Now this pepper, excuse me, peppermint plant, that typically does very well. It's extremely cold hardy, but I had space for it, so I went ahead and stuck this in here. So as you see, this is well worth the effort to put together. And let me show you on this side here, these peppers, how well they're doing. Oh, my neighbor's dog's getting ready to start barking. We're about to wrap this up. But as you see, these peppers, this particular plant, these are bell peppers, are doing very well. And one last thing I want to show you is something that I had mentioned last time. These are some um, cabbages straight from the kitchen. It was the remnants and all it did was took the core and put these into this pot. I had them in another exposed area, but because it was so late in the season and it was so cold, they were really struggling. So what I did was I put them in here and then I just put this glass over top. But because it is a cold weather plant, once they get going, you don't have to do that. And I'll show you how well these others are doing. And that's from my video where I talked about growing your groceries. So as you see here, and this I did to try to help it to form that 
nice round shape but these are not cabbages from a seed they're not cabbages from um, a plant these are cabbages that were left over from my groceries and then you see the same with the onions in fact you see some of the onion skins here so again my neighbor saw is getting ready to <laughs> he's getting ready to bark 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 so we're gonna end this here hope you have a great day bye bye